Hey, Dad, what's up? Remember that trip we took to New Orleans when you were a kid? Want to go with me? To New Orleans? Our good friend James died. What? I was starting to think you weren't going to come. When's this funeral? Tomorrow morning. Want to go to a couple of tours or something? Well, I really don't want to go to a tour. You two getting along now? Is it good? Look, I, I, I have nothing against Emily. I think she's really sweet. I know you. You're in love with love. <laughs> I think I can get used to it. We should just enjoy ourselves. I said I'd never have come here. I didn't hear you complaining when you were banging your way through the Australian didgeridoo team. Used to detach me. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna stick this out. As much as you don't want to admit it, we're, we're the same, me and you. Yeah, all you have to do is look for the cracks. That's all you the have to do. things crack! in New Orleans They call the rising sun and that's you Why are you naked? Welcome to The Process I'm Cassidy Linder here with James Morrison Hi hey, Cassidy How are you? I'm good yeah. yeah Thank you for spending time with us today Thank you So we are going to discuss The Process um, Luckily with you we get to do both We're going to talk a little bit about music and a little bit about acting because you have done both and you do both professionally um, so I'd like to ask you first, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Um, is it too long to pause? <laughs> that was good. It was, was that, a great mm, pause. That was a thoughtful pause. <laughs> that was a thoughtful pause. <laughs> um, um, it was a dramatic pause. It was great. Uh, so, so. The, well, no, I understand uh, the question. Yes. Did I start playing music first or did I start acting See, first? You're, yeah. you're a quick cat. I'm not dumb. Um, I, I think actually an interesting question because music actually awakened my, um, need to perform, hmm. but, but watching it, you know, I would watch people like performing performance, performing artists like Pete Townsend when I was a kid or, or Dylan just standing with his guitar and I, and I was so moved by it that I, you know, this was when I was 13, 14. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't know exactly how to do what they were doing or what it was they were doing to me exactly, except making me think a lot and feel a lot. And I just decided I wanted to do what they were doing to me, to other people, somehow. So I think, I guess the music came first, even though I didn't play it first. I, I, I became an actor first. Okay. I did play guitar in high school, but... Mm -hmm. And, you know, I wrote some songs and stuff, but um, I became an actor first. So the inspiration to perform came from music. I think so. And it developed into acting and then later on into... Yeah, and in fact, uh, I put down the guitar for almost 20 years. Hmm. Picked it up when my wife was pregnant with my son, who's 16 now. Hmm. So I, I had a... A period where I didn't make any kind of music at all um, and I'm not sure why hmm. I guess I was pursuing another thing and I and I didn't really realize that I that it's all part of the same thing uh, if you just sit, you know you know that if you sit long enough doing what you're doing you'll get it done mm -hmm. if you don't sit long enough it won't happen mm -hmm. so it really comes down to just sitting down and doing it right mm -hmm. so writing on what you're talking about right now with, with being free is something that we had just just touched upon right before we started um about where does ego take place so if you're free your ego has to be swept you know swept aside like we were just discussing when you were working on that last project and and somebody you know slammed down oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the script and and so you know you you don't mind 
being yelled at essentially. No, so yeah, I mean, because you know you're all working you know. towards the same goal. Mm -hmm. So it's not personal. You can't take it personally. You know, I'm, I'm, I have mixed feelings about ego because we are, we can't do, you know, it's like people say, don't be judgmental. Mm -hmm. Don't, 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 don't uh, judge. Don't, you know, don't make judgment. Mm -hmm. You have to. We would love to have you play a song. So why don't you, can you talk about the process of the song that you're going to play for us? Yeah, actually, I was gonna. I, I thought about playing. Um, uh, I once loved a woman, okay. because it was uh, one of the first ones I wrote when I was. I think I wrote it when I was 23, 24. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the first ones that I that, that made it that that far with me. That the rest were that I didn't manage to, to bring them along. And it's a love song, and, and I'm not very good at writing love songs, but this is about the one that, uh, thank God she got away, sort mm -hmm. of thing. So basically, if if you turn that listening off, then you've turned your process off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You always need to have it on. You have to always be listening. Mm -hmm. So that's speaking of how my yoga practice informs my everything. Mm -hmm. it, it's taught me to listen mm -hmm. deeper. Mm 
mm. with bigger ears and 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 um, m more attention. Something you don't see in the papers every day is, a, is, is an ad for wanted short, bald, middle-aged men to pretend to be other people. You don't see that. It's like walking in a room and standing there, have people look at you, and then you have to pull down your pants and turn around, and then you wait a while until they tell you it's okay, then you pull up your pants and you try to gather any dignity while you buckle up, and then you walk out of the room. There were times when you just want to say, here, hand them a brochure and say, this is what, I, this is what I'm like. Get back to me. I, for one, happen to be one of the freaks in this world that loves to audition. I don't think it's very fun sometimes. <laughs> I love auditioning. Love it. I hate auditioning so much that I don't go in on anything. I went in for ER. <laughs> I wore a lab coat. And I brought in a hypodermic, uh, not a needle, but I brought in the, the plastic part, you know. I think they thought I was insane. I was insane. I didn't get that part. It was the most heinous, terrible, awkward moment. It, there was just silence, and then it was over. I stood outside in that hall, sweating, and I didn't have the balls. And to this day, it's just a college plate. To this day, I go, what if? You can be unbelievably well prepared, clear, choices made, you go in the room, and before you've even reached the people, you, you know it's over. Great actors are incapacitated by the whole concept. I didn't get the part, but I had a great time auditioning.